Welcome to Two Cooks in the Kitchen. Today we are cooking a whole fish and I was lucky enough to get this beautiful black cod fresh from the Oceana down at Dock H. All right, we're here at the docks where the hardworking crew of the Oceana has some black cod for us. We're gonna pick up a fish here and we're gonna cook it today. Doesn't get any fresher than that. This is a fish that's known for uh, its butteriness. It's got a lot of fat content. It's just, this is going to be delicious. So uh, we're going to make a marinade. I have here just uh, two limes worth of juice. And uh, the first serrano from our greenhouse, all chopped up here. Uh, this is lime zest and some cilantro. Our cilantro is... Uh, some leaves, but mostly flowers at this point. It was a, it was a bad year for growing cilantro for us. But uh, anyway, we have some, so we're gonna put it in here. And these measurements are, as you can tell, just strict and exact. So we're gonna put in a couple of scumps of some garlic. Again, a very strict and exact sort of measurement. And we're gonna pour in some olive oil. Maybe about uh, four tablespoons would be nice, but there again, this is just a marinade, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna slather it on this fish and let it sit for a while. So, I have <clears throat> cut slits in both sides of the fish, and we're gonna work some of this into those slits and into the inside. And we're just going to get this on here. Oh, yeah. We'll get it in here. Rub it about. Get it in this. Oh, maybe get some on those cheeks. That's going to be delicious. <laughs> get the other side. It's a little hard to hold on to, huh? Well, I could use a slightly bigger pan, but I'm okay with it. Okay, and I'm just going to use the rest of this up. And then to this, we're going to add some lemon slices. We just happened to have a, a half a lemon sitting in the fridge, so I just used it. It's cut kind of funny, but what the heck. And we have some uh, rosemary. rosemary and some thyme. And I'm just using the thyme flowers and all because it's going to look pretty and it's delicious. By the time it's done cooking, it won't look very pretty actually, but um, it's going to be delicious. Okay, now this fish is going to sit in the fridge in its marinade for the rest of the afternoon until it's time to cook it. All right, so it's time to start cooking up the base for our fish. We're going to cook up some onions and potatoes 
if you had fennel root, that would be a really good thing, but we don't have any. And um, these are not the days to run to the co-op for that one thing that you don't have. Uh, so we're just gonna do it with what we got. So with our uh, potato and our onions, we want a nice thin slice. So I'm gonna do this on the mandolin. Um, I mean, it'd be really nice if we had the uh, uh, fennel root too, but this is gonna be great anyway. And you'll see that this just makes nice thin slices. I'm not exactly, and I always advise using the guard because as this would take nice thin slices of your fingers too. So, um, but it's, it's a little bit of a trick to get used to, but it works out. So, could be more perfect, but that's good enough for me. And I had a few uh, little carrot pieces left over from Julianning some carrots, so I'm going to throw those in there too for some color. And uh, I'm putting this in just some hot olive oil. Well, apparently not that hot. Um, And we'll get this uh, uh, the right so many options yes. for Gemini. Um, we'll get this going. Um, want these onions to kind of cook a bit before uh, we add in the potatoes. And I want to get this cooked a little quite a bit, but not all the way, because we're going to put it in the pan with the fish, and then we're going to cook that again in the oven. So um, this is, uh, it's like a mirepoix, or like a base for the fish. So we'll come back when these ovens have cooked onions. Have ovens, cooked down. onions. When onions. these onions have cooked down a little bit, and, um, and I've had a little more to drink. All right, so I'm going to add some garlic to this, um, a fair amount, because, you know, who doesn't like garlic? And then our potatoes, and I have I've cut up uh, some new potatoes here. They were where the Yukon Gold. Yeah, maybe? Yukon Gold, yeah. Um, they were getting to where they needed to be used, so we're going to use them for this. Um, again, you know, if you had like some fennel root, that would just be absolutely divine in here. And you can come up with whatever you have, you know, and make, make things up. It's all just fine. And I had these sitting in some uh, salt water after I cut them so that they wouldn't turn brown. And, uh, it worked, huh? That's why I didn't just pour it in because there's salt water in the bowl. So now we really want this to cook down a little bit. It's going to take a little while. I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to let this cook for a good 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. I think we'll add some, at this point, we're going to add uh, some cumin maybe for some flavor. I think that might work out really well. That's about a teaspoon of cumin. Carefully measured. And we'd like to add some uh, Malden flake salt. And I think a little bit of freshly ground pepper. I'm going to mix this together, get the uh, cumin mixed in here, and then I'm going to cover this and just let it sweat for a little while. Uh, it sounds like it's cooking pretty hard, so I'll probably turn it down in a minute. But, um, but there you have it. 
Let's talk about this fish, black cod. Think of cod, you might think of um, the white flaky fish that you get in your fish and chips. That might be, that originally was the Atlantic cod, but that is now an endangered species. But the Pacific cod is what we generally know as cod. There are many other things that are called cod. We have rock cod, ling cod, black cod. None of them are really cod. They are other fish. The black cod was kind of an ignored fish for a long time until they started calling it sable fish and then its popularity took off. It comes from the northern Pacific and it is a bottom dweller. And this fish is full of oil and it's buttery. So uh, we have the first big tomato from our greenhouse. Um, to throw in here and it's really only for a little bit of color. It's not going to add much to to this given what we're doing with it, but it's going to add some color to the whole dish and I think it'll be a nice touch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our pan and put this in here. You'll notice the fish is absent. This is a big pan, so really it would be nice to have a whole bunch more veg to put in here, but we're just going to spread this out and then lay the fish back on top of it. Oh, come here, honey. Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm. Doesn't that look pretty? That's a lot of pan showing. But then, um, this is some, uh, some squash from Black Oak Ranch. We're just gonna get it to go over top. And we have some carrots from uh, Willow Creek, Willow Creek Farms. Farms, yes. That'll be nice in here too. And there we have it. We're ready to go in the oven. This is going to go into a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And when it comes out, it is going to be spectacular. Oh man, look at that. That looks like something from the uh, Neolithic era. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get that on a plate and uh, see what it looks like. But man, that looks really good. It smells really good in here too. I haven't figured mm. out the smells like oh, yeah. lemon and herb. Is, uh, yeah. Okay, I think this is going to be good. We have to figure out how to get it off the bone. Alright, so somehow we have to get all this fish out of here and oh, it's really not it's not working out easily, but what I really wanted to show you was how moist and tender this fish is and how it flakes. Once you get it off the skin properly, off the bone properly, I mean, um, it's just so, look at that. That is beautiful and it's really super moist. It's buttery. Um, uh, you don't want that. Um, it's a it's a delicious fish. We're gonna pair this on the plate with a tomato salad that has a little bit of fig balsamic reduction and a little bit of basil, and that's it. Just tomatoes because the fish is so buttery. It's nice to have something bright with it, some more acid, and uh, we have over here our butter chardonnay that we'll pair it with and it's just going to be delicious so thanks for watching two cooks in the kitchen and we'll see you next time